welcome back again to Keyboarding by Touch. I'm Mrs. Williams. Today we're going to talk about the home row and teach you how to type the home row keys. Welcome to the home row keys. We are going to start with this middle row. This is called home row. Starting at A on the left hand and ending at the semicolon on the right hand. Let's identify which fingers sit on these keys. Your pinky on your left hand sits on the A. Your fourth finger, ring finger, on the S. Left hand middle finger D and left hand index finger on the F. Feel the bump that's on the F. Right hand, your J index finger, feel the bump. K finger, middle finger, sits on the K. Ring finger L and my pinky sits on the semicolon. Both thumbs sit on the space bar. All right, so let's start by typing just finger pairs. We're going to start with our F and J index fingers. Again, those are the fingers on the bumps. You're going to type those quickly, F, F space. Over to the right hand now, J, J space. Those are your index fingers. Let's move to our middle fingers now. Middle fingers, D on the left hand, K on the right hand. Let's start with our left hand. Ready? D, D space. Over to the right hand. K, K space. Moving to our ring finger keys. S on the left hand, L on the right hand. These are tricky. Make that finger tight by itself. Ready? S, S space, L, L space. Keeping my fingers curved. Pinky fingers. Left hand sits on A, right hand sits on semicolon. Ready? Looking forward. A, A space. Right hand, semicolon, semicolon, space. Okay, now the last key we're going to talk about today isn't on the home row, but it's the biggest key on the keyboard. This is your space bar. Your space bar rests both of your thumbs on the space bar. Now, you're not going to type with both thumbs. We don't want to push together like that. You need to choose a thumb. It doesn't matter if it's your left thumb. It doesn't matter if it's your right thumb. It doesn't even matter if you alternate, but you shouldn't push with both. All right, now the next key we need to talk about is the enter key. This key functions to get you to a new line. You need to know how to do this so that you can type your assignment today. You're going to make sure, pretend there's something sticky under your J finger. Don't move your J finger. You're going to reach with your pinky finger to the enter key and come back. It's okay if other fingers move, reach to the enter key and come back. Don't move your J finger, ready? Enter, take your finger and come back. Enter, always come back to semicolon. That is your home row key. Don't let your fingers move over here. Always keep it on home row. Enter and come back. 